I'm continuing my journey up to Kota Baru in the state of Kelantan. This state has often been overlooked as a travel destination, but I'm sure it has something more to offer us. Hey guys, sekarang saya tengah on the way pergi ke Kelantan. Kali ini saya nak buat road trip dekat Pantai Timur. Sebenarnya setiap kali saya pergi Pantai Timur kan, asyik kerja je. Tapi kali ini saya nak pergi sana betul-betul explore. Ha, ah, harap-harap kita boleh sampai awal sikit lah. Untuk trip kali ini, kita sangat bertuah dapat jumpa dengan seorang legend dalam wayang kulit. Ha, kita akan berjumpa dengan Pak Chu atau nama sebenarnya Yo Hock Seng. Dan kita sekarang tengah on the way pergi rumah dia yang dekat Kampung Pasir yang agak jauh dari Kota Baru. Before we continue our journey, I'm stopping over to meet a friend of mine for lunch. He's a local here. Maybe he can tell us a little bit about the Thai Peranakan culture and where's the best place to visit here in Kota Baru. Hmm, dah lama jalan ni. Uh, saya dah lapar sebenarnya. Uh, nak cari pot makan lunch sekejap. Korang tolong tengok kalau ada restoran best. Okey? Kedai depan tu macam best. Jom pergi sana. The Thai Peranakan has existed long here in Kelantan. Even before the borders of Malaysia had been drawn. Many of them are full or partial Thai descendants who were born here. At a glance, you can't really differentiate a Malay or Siamese as they also speak fluent local dialects. The Malaysian Siamese predominantly profess to Theravada Buddhism, which is centered at their place of worship called Wat. Ta thi thi kota thi thi lang tang kun pai tiao, pai tiao yeo thi Wat Mai. Wat Mai mi kun yeo yeo pai. Eu ko leu ko thi tham ni kun ma jak tai tham tham wat thi nan. Eu ko ma kon than หมดหลายแสนอยู่ทําทําที่นั่นแล้วอีกหนึ่งเลยพระนอนพระนอนนี่ใหญ่ที่สุดตอนนั้นเจ็ดแปดปีก่อนใหญ่ที่สุดที่
famously known as Pakchu, he is the only Chinese Tok Galang here in Malaysia. Wayang Kulit is a traditional form of puppet shadow play, originally found throughout the Southeast Asia community. The puppets are projected on a linen, brought to life with an electric light. Pakchu is a man of China, but he is the only one in the world with Wayang Kulit. And Pakchu is one of the three Tok Galang that is still active in Kelantan. Wih, jalan sempit. Ha, kenapa kita dalam jalan sempit? Sebab kita dah dekat-dekat rumah Pak Cu. Hai Pak Cu. Hai, apa khabar? Hai. Dari mana-mana? Uh, dari KL. Nama? Nama Elvin. Ya, ya. Dia boleh duduk. Boleh duduk. Pak duduk. Uh, sebenarnya Alvin datang uh, sini hari ni sebab yeah. nak tanya pasal wayang kulit. Uh -huh. Sebenarnya Alvin orang Cina uh, mm -hmm. dari Penang tapi yeah. tak pernah lagi tengok wayang kulit dalam hidup saya. Uh -huh. So dapat ceritalah daripada kawan saya yang Pak Cik ni memang pakar dalam wayang kulit ni dah lama main mm -hmm. wayang kulit. So hari ni nak tanya Pak Cik, uh, dah berapa lama Pak Cik main wayang kulit? Uh, Pak Cik ni main wayang kulit lebih kurang 40 tahun lebih. 40 tahun lebih? 40 tahun lebih. There are different types of wayang kulit. The one we are witnessing is called wayang kulit siam. It is considered as one of the oldest forms of wayang kulit and can only be found in Kelantan and Terengganu. These puppet shows are always delivered in the Kelantanese dialect. Ah, kalau ini dia segi ah, raja. raja. Raja ni dia suara agak lembut lah. Oh, ni pengasuh kepada dia mu pengasuh. Buanolah pengasuh lewat masuk ngada amu. Oh, ah, dia lembut dia, sikit. Dia, ini dah satu suara. Abin dapat tahu yang uh, Pakcu ni memang antara tiga Tok Dalang yang masih aktif lagi dekat Kelantan. Ya. Yeah. So Pakcu ada plan tak nak ambil anak murid? Saya dulu pun saya uh, ramai yang mari jumpa Belajar. saya. Nak berguru dengan saya. Suruh ajar dia orang. Tapi macam saya kata, orang kulit ni memang, memang, memang susah. It's pretty hard if you want to be a Tok Dalang. There's no formal training. One has to master at least five different voices for each character in the play. And you need to remember the whole story you're playing. That's not much interest from the younger generation in learning how to be a wayang kulit Tudala. The kids nowadays are more interested in modern art, such as dancing and acting. In a few years' time, this will be a long lost art. I'm quite grateful to be able to witness and experience one of Malaysia's wonders. Wayang Kulit is a unique culture that we should preserve. If there's no interest from the younger generation, the long history of literature expanding hundreds of years might be lost in a few decades. Can't believe what I've seen in these last couple of days. Who would have thought I'll be looking at one of the biggest sleeping Buddhas in Malaysia? exploring the dragon wat and spending some time enjoying wayang kulit in person all in Kelantan.